In the version 1.6 livestream, we were able to get our first view of Kazuha and his normal attacks with his E skill and his ultimate. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my first thoughts and potentially what kind of options we have to build him. So we can probably expect his multipliers, at least for estimating at this point, to be something similar to Xiao's, namely for the plunge attack, with the main question being how much can he plunge compared to Xiao. Xiao goes into his ultimate and then he pumps out basically tons of plunges and does a lot of damage in it. He also gets an attack buff which Kazuha won't be getting. Kazuha on the other hand activates his E skill which allows him to go up and then do a plunge attack down. This will also create a swirl reaction and do a little whirlwind just like most uh, animo characters do and pull enemies in. What you can probably do with this E skill is utilize it like a potential mini nuke. The problem is going to be if the E skill cooldown is very long. If it's very short, something like a Kaching, then you could be able to actually spam this over and over again. If it's long, then we're actually going to have to look at options like the Sacrificial Sword in order to get another Plunge and Wind Tunnel by proccing the effect and cancelling the cooldown. The Sacrificial Sword also gives energy recharge and this is very good for accessing his burst and so what this build could look like is basically Kazuha would be something like a Xing Cho where you activate your E skill, you activate your E skill again by getting the sacrificial sword proc and then you activate your alt and switch over to a different character. The E skill and the plunge is going to be scaling off of his attack and crit rate and so if you want to utilize the damage from there you're going to want to be leaning towards a DPS build rather than any having any elemental mastery. For Kazuha's ult it's something similar to Albedo's but basically with larger ticks and smaller initial damage and an extra infusion bonus. It's basically just a good burst for spamming with swirl potential. The multipliers at the beginning and potentially the bonus are going to be again attack and crit scaling so that's where a DPS Kazuha would see value and the elemental mastery should not affect the initial damage on the burst it's only going to affect the swirl damage. Kazuha's passive is basically giving your team an elemental bonus buff based on how much elemental mastery he has. We don't know the exact numbers yet, but we can estimate it could be something like 30% elemental bonus, so that could be pyro bonus or whichever bonus, it depends on what he actually swirls with, when he has around 800 elemental mastery. Once again, this bonus can be different once we know the actual multiplier, but it seems like it'll be something like an archaic Petra set, which gives about a 30% elemental bonus once you do a crystallized reaction. So basically, the potential options that you have are pure elemental mastery, pure DPS, or a hybrid of both. So for a pure elemental mastery, you're going to want to run elemental mastery on all three pieces, the goblet, the headpiece, and the timepiece and for pure dps you're probably going to want to do a crit rate animo damage bonus and then attack percent for a hybrid it could be something like crit rate animo damage bonus and then elemental mastery or utilizing a sword that has elemental mastery currently off the top of my head the only sword i know is the iron sting which gives about 151 elemental mastery at level 80 so maybe a little bit more afterwards and it's got a decent effect which is increasing your overall damage by about 6% or more if you refine it. So, the question that we have to ask is whether Elemental Mastery is going to be powerful enough to outdo his normal DPS potential. The answer to this question is going to come in how much they buff reactions, namely the Swirl reaction with the coming 1.6 update. They said they're going to buff the reactions, and basically they're going to increase the bonus multipliers and the damage formula that you get from the amount of elemental mastery you have. The best way to check this is to do calculations in order to actually get the raw numbers and see if they match the in-game ones. So we'll be doing that as 1.6 launches, maybe around the Klee banner if that's actually when the update does come and the reactions are buffed. The other way to do this, especially for figuring out for Kazuha, if he favors one like the DPS build or the elemental mastery build or even a hybrid of them more is to create an objective function that will basically add the elemental mastery damage to his normal damage and then optimize that by considering the elemental mastery as one of the variables. So I'll be changing my code in order to account for the elemental mastery for the swirl damage 
and this is going to be super helpful for future calculations and especially developing other elemental reactions and also for us to see if Kazuha favors one or the other more or even which would be really cool in my opinion a hybrid because that's that's kind of tricky maybe it'll all balance out but I don't know and we're gonna investigate that in the next few videos so stay tuned and take care